Hello, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics here with your release for this Sunday. I have eight new fabrics for you, uh, a range of bases again, uh, and some really pretty prints. Something a little bit different, hopefully, um, that might just tickle your fancy. Okay, first one I have is a cotton rayon, so it's a woven fabric. It is 70% cotton and 30% um, rayon. So it's a really pretty base. It's lovely and light and it's 143 centimetres wide, which is a really great width for a woven fabric. And isn't it super cute? It's so pretty. I love it. Let me show you. Got some cute little, little pinks in there, a little bit of green around the circles. We call this one uh, powder puff. Obviously it has no stretch because it's woven, but it has a really nice drape um, and it's kind of a nice floaty type fabric. It's really nice. So this one looks really pretty with strawberry shortcake, uh, which is cotton spandex, steel blue, round modal, they look really great together. Uh, let's see, fairy floss. This is also a cotton spandex and bluegrass. This is a double brush poly. So your first one today, powder puff, cotton rayon. Really cute. All right, the next one I'm actually wearing today, it's a beautiful soft double brush poly. It's called Creatures of the Day. I really like the colours of this one. I am trying to venture into animal print. I haven't ever really worn animal print before and I'm trying to extend myself um, and start wearing it. And I just, I really quite like the colours in this one. Um, there's still the browns in there, but it, I don't know, it seems to have more of a grey tone to it. Uh, a little bit of grey, I guess. Let me show you. It's really nice. Anyway, so double brush poly is brushed on both sides so it's beautiful and soft against your skin and it's beautiful and soft on the outside as well it has really great stretch both ways and really nice drape so I'm going to show you I'm going to stand up on my stool I've made a paper pattern I don't know if you can really see it very well there this skirt uh, I think it's simplicity 1429 anyway it's can't quite see it all. Have to take a picture. It's long at the back, short at the front, a um, bit of something different. And this is just a cotton spandex, the 180 GSM, the black. This is the edgy top from George and Ginger. I think I need a bit more of a tan to pull it off. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Get my fake tan out to sort that out. Okay, this one looks really nice with oatmeal. This is a round modal, uh, nickel, cotton spandex, looks great, or mocha, double brush poly, I really like that, or black obviously is another option. So this is creatures of the day, double brush poly. Okay, next we have this super pretty one which is called Enchanted Garden, it's a single brush poly, it's got some really pretty um, colours in here. Really sweet. So it's a vertical print. That's a crooked cut there from the supplier. Let's go to our cut. There we go. So it's a vertical print but because the stretch of um, brush poly is so good you could wear it horizontally. You could wear it on the bias. So many options. So the stretch is amazing. So either way you want to wear it the stretch should be fine for it. The drape is really good. I'll show you these really pretty colours in there, nice and soft. So single brush poly is brushed on the outside and it's slinky and cool and smooth on the inside. Now this one goes really nicely with the watermelon. Um, oh, sorry, that's annoying me. It just keeps falling off. This is the watermelon cotton spandex. That's better. And that brightens it up a little bit because the it's quite soft, the colouring. This really brightens it up, I think. So this is watermelon cotton spandex. Or you can go tangerine. 
double brush poly. Salmon pink, how pretty is it with the salmon pink? It's just gorgeous. This is cotton spandex. Uh, pink, double brush poly. Peach, double brush poly, also looks really good. Deep coral, double brush poly. So all of these you'll see on our website. So if you click on the product listing for this one, Enchanted Garden, you'll see pictures of this fabric on our mannequin um, with bigger pieces of these solids just draped over the side so you can really see what they look like together. And you can have a longer look instead of me just flicking through them really quickly. So this is coral, double brush poly. Avocado looks really great with it because that's the same sort of green as these leaves. So pretty. And apricot, single brush poly. So lots of options there. And they're not all the same fabric base. So some of the options, so this is a single brush poly. Um, and we're showing you cotton spandex as well because they do, you can sew them together. It can work um, or they can easily be separate garments. Um, but they do sew together quite nicely. So don't be scared to use two different fabric types. Um, when they've both got a similar amount of stretch, it should do fine. And you'll see the stretch percentage um, in the product listing on the website for all of our fabrics. All of our knit fabrics, that way these don't have any stretch. Okay, next one is a cotton spandex. And you've seen this one in black. This is Stargazer in white. Yes, sorry, I was just checking I had that right. So it's a really nice cotton spandex. It's got really nice stretch. It's 160 GSM, this one, and it's 160 centimetres wide, so just a little bit wider than normal. Normal being 150 centimetres, which is what a lot of our knit fabrics are. Look at that, isn't it cute? Nice little T-shirt, I think. Great for kids' clothes. Or t-shirt dress would be really nice. It's my new favourite thing at the moment is t-shirt dresses. So this is Stargazer in white. So, I mean, it's black and it's white. So any colour, really, is going to go with this one. Um, you can colour block and mix and match to your heart's content with this one. Okay. Next one has a lot of coordinates. So bear with me while I go through all of these. This is amazingly soft. It's just, it's beautiful. So, so soft. Now, we've had this before. This print and this colourway, this is called Dream in Mauve. And we've had it before in a rayon spandex. This time, we have it in a double brush poly. It's really, really pretty. It's got some really nice colours in there. The background colour is just gorgeous. Nice stretch both ways and really nice drape. Okay, now for all of these coordinates. So again, you'll see all of these on our website. So if I'm moving through too quickly, don't worry. If you haven't missed it forever, you can still see it on the website. Okay, sand, double brush poly, pink bamboo, olive, single brush poly, Masala, double brush poly, what do you think about that? Light sage, single brush poly. Light olive, double brush poly. Uh, lavender bamboo, I have forgotten to bring that one out. Lavender bamboo also goes well, that one's really low. Do we have any of that one left? I can't see from here. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, if you even if you have some at home, um, then that matches nicely. Dusty mauve, double brush poly, looks really great. Dark rose, double brush poly, looks good. Dark green, double brush poly, because there is a really dark green in here in the leaves. Chestnut, single brush poly. Champagne. Double brush poly. So these will match in with some of the lighter colours. You might not see it straight away, but there's quite a few colours in there. Now, let's see, Camellia Pink, double brush poly. Blush, single brush poly. 
Ballet Pink, Rayon Modal, Baby Pink, Cotton Spandex, and last one, nearly there. This is Army Double Brush Poly. So there's a lot of coordinates with this one. Makes it a great little fabric um, to mix and match with. You know, you can perhaps sew a skirt or something with this and you can have lots of different coloured tops that will go with this and perhaps another fabric that you have as well. So it's a great little coordinate. So this is Dream in Mauve and it's a double brush poly. Okay. We have a new one here. This is a cotton spandex. It's 170 GSM and it's 160 centimeters wide, so just a little bit wider than the norm. And it's this really pretty blue. It is a blue. Sometimes it looks a little bit purple, but I think it is a blue. It might be one of those ones that changes a little bit depending on the light. So just really cute, like sepia style um, flowers on there. I guess they're quite grey, but they're really pretty. It's a nice small print, so good for kids and adults alike. It's got some nice horizontal stretch and just a little bit of give vertically. This is another one of those that has this really, it's very, very subtle on this one. Can you see that there? kind of has that star embroidered into it, just here. I'm moving my fingers the wrong way. It's, oh, I can't work it out. It's just in here. But it's very, very subtle. And it comes up on quite a few of these fabrics, but this one you really can't see it very well. Okay, this one's called Melancholy. And we have got an old white double brush poly to go with that one. And let me see in this pile somewhere, I put light sage, there we go, which goes nicely with it, and also oatmeal, where did I hide oatmeal, just here, there we go, oatmeal looks really nice too, so that is melancholy, cotton spandex, okay, two left, now, this one's a bit different. I'm not sure if we're going to like it here or not. I know it's a little bit bigger in the US, this type of print, than it is here. Um, but I found the colours just a little bit different on this one. Anyway, I'll show you, shall I? And you can see what you think of it. You can decide for yourself. It's a camo print. So I have had a camo before and it was a pink camo which was kind of cute. So I'm going out on a limb and I've got another camo here. It's kind of cute. It's very, very light colours. It'd be really nice for workout gear actually. Um, double brush poly, great stretch. Both ways, a beautiful drape. It's a lovely soft double brush poly, really nice. So this one looks nice with olive, single brush poly, and what else, sorry I'm just reading my list here in front of me, oatmeal, round modal, looks really nice, and nickel, cotton spandex, bring out some of those greys. Uh, light sage again, goes really nicely. Light olive looks really nice. Is that right? Yes. And 50 shades looks good too. Because there, yeah, there's a bit of grey in there. There's a bit of really light sagey green, a bit of beige on a... I don't know, what is that, an ivory, probably an ivory background or a very, very pale grey background. Anyway, they're quite subtle colours. So this is camo. Let's see how it goes. All right, last one we have is our Lush Sunday Special. And the base is a little bit different again this week. It is 100% cotton knit, this one. 
So this is the pink crosses. We've had the yellow crosses before. This is the pink crosses. It's kind of a salmon-y pink. Um, it does have a bit of that orange tone in the pink. But isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. So it's 100% cotton. There's no other fibre in there, just 100% cotton. And it gets its stretch from the way that it's been knitted together. So obviously the stretch isn't as good as the brush polys with all that spandex in there, but it does still have some stretch, just a bit of give vertically. But it's really, I think it's a gorgeous little print and 100% cotton, perfect. So it looks really nice with white uh, and apricot, is this apricot? Yes. So that looks really nice together, doesn't it? They match really, really well. So you could um, certainly sew these into the same garment um, and have it work well. And this might work well for bands. There isn't a huge amount of stretch in this, so you might need something a bit stretchier for bands on the dresses or T-shirts. Um, so this might work, or the white as well for a band. Oops, I just dropped that on the floor. Excuse me. The white would work for the bands too. So this is your Lush Sunday special for today. It's called Pink Crosses and it's 100% cotton knit. Okay, that's everything. As always, you can win a $50 Lush gift card just by commenting on this post that we put in our Lush Facebook group. So Lush Fabrics and Australia in brackets. So comment as many times as you like and a random winner will be drawn on Monday at 4pm Western Standard Time. Hope you like the fabrics. I'll be back next week to show you some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.